issue was not about being smaller the issue was never about being smaller or being bigger the issue was i just did not like myself and no matter what size i was going to be in i still didn't like myself and that wasn't going to change so if you think that you're going to be skinny and you're going to like yourself no coming from someone who was skinny and still didn't like themselves and then who was big currently is big sorry um and didn't like themselves it's it's not about the size it's really not it's you you're the problem here <laughs> you need to deal with yourself and i can say this because i finally dealt with it or rather i finally understand the real issue and to some to some extent you could say i'm finally working on the root of the problem myself eh? i'm finally working on actually learning to like myself not only love myself but to like myself because we all say oh i love myself i love myself but like do you like yourself genuinely let's be very honest the personality that you have the way that you dress the way that you act the way that you are like literally who you are do you like that person i always believed that if i was just a little skinnier i would actually love myself i'd love myself because i would be skinny okay everyone would love me but what's funny is that this is coming from someone who at the time was actually very skinny okay um yeah if you look at me now like if my younger self actually saw me now should be mortified <laughs> um much bigger than i was at that time you can't really see that because like trying to show off my jacket it's so cute i feel like i'm in the cloud now before we even go on with anything else let's dial a bit back to high school me okay i had terrible body dysphoria which dysmorphia dysphoria which one is it i forgot okay but i had this weird fear of being fat okay and so i did everything everything under the sun okay i exercised so much okay too much actually and i barely ate um kind of you know caused a little bit of disordered eating at that time i did have i wasn't eating well um basically starving myself yay but that was my way of trying to make sure that like i'd be keeping my weight in check fast forward i finished high school um i took a gap year did everything not go downhill from there okay i gained so much weight no <laughs> if you think i gained weight from eating too much since i was out no i was surviving on noodles okay unless you're telling me that noodles uh being the only thing that i ate for the day was what was causing me to gain so much weight okay then but literally gained a lot of weight and i did not know what to do with the weight <laughs> like um I, I was now much bigger than i was um and i kept on growing i kept on getting bigger and i did not like i didn't have enough time to actually process that i was actually becoming a big girl okay i have hips now guys <laughs> i'm joking please eh? don't don't take me seriously but i never had the time to actually process that i now had a different body what's funny is even with a different body still didn't love it okay is that surprising no because it was even much bigger than i already was and for someone who thought they were big to now become as big as they thought they were i don't know it, it i think i thought i would be so mad about it but i actually wasn't as mad as i thought i would be because i'd always seen myself as big as i am now well it hasn't really processed but like i'd always seen myself as a big girl so for now to have become that big girl it didn't really affect me it yeah sure okay i kept on having to like buy different sizes of clothes which was very irritating until i got to a point where now i was actually starting to realize that hey like <laughs> i have skipped sizes okay i have gotten to a size that i never even thought was possible okay so now it was a matter of me trying out so many different things to try and lose the weight exactly what i did when i was, when I was in high school clearly i do not learn from my mistakes but I started over exercising like whenever I, I do like i i just start exercising i'd be over exercising i'm doing too much hit workouts da, 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 da. and then i drop it after two weeks <laughs> two weeks at most okay um i do it for a week and i'm done okay um i did diets <laughs> i did a keto diet to this day my friend will never allow me to do a keto diet again because i was borderline depressed this whole trying to be on a keto diet and like trying to lose weight is not working for me i i don't like it i feel so suffocated right now 
I don't function very well uh, without proper food. That that that's the conclusion I came to. Okay, the issue wasn't that. The issue was not about being smaller. The issue was never about being smaller or being bigger. The issue was I just did not like myself, and no matter what size I was going to be in, I still didn't like myself. And that wasn't going to change. So if you think that you're going to be skinny and you're going to like yourself, no. Coming from someone who was skinny and still didn't like themselves and then who was big, currently is big, sorry, um, and didn't like themselves, it's it's not about the size. It's really not. It's you. You're the problem here. <laughs> you need to deal with yourself. And I can say this because I finally dealt with it or rather I finally understand the real issue and to some to some extent, you could say I'm finally working on the root of the problem myself. Eh? I'm finally working on actually learning to like myself. Not only love myself, but to like myself. Because we all say, oh, I love myself. I love myself. But like, do you like yourself? Genuinely, let's be very honest. The personality that you have, the way that you dress, the way that you act, the way that you are, like literally who you are. Do you like that person? If you don't like that person, you have two options. One, you either learn to like that person. Two, you change that person to become the person that you really want to be. I changed the person that I was. I did not like the person that I was in high school. I'm on a standby. Genuinely, I didn't like that person. She was... I mean, she did what she had to do. Okay, she was there for a reason. But she is not who I wanted to be going forward. And so... I chose not to be her. I stopped victim blaming. Uh, not victim blaming. I stopped victimizing myself. That's the word. Um, and I stopped, you know, being all dark and sad and trying to be depressed. And oh my word, the world is a dark place. I just stopped. How did I stop? I started trying to be happier. <laughs> I like being a happy person. That genuinely love that. I don't like being an intimidating person. I don't like being someone who people cannot approach. I like being able to talk to people, to make friends. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. But I felt like I had to have this front in order to, you know, I don't know where it was coming from even. Okay. But I genuinely did not like myself. It was never about my body. A lot of the times it's not about your body. It's about yourself. You don't like yourself and you will continue not liking yourself no matter what body you have. So yeah, you're, you're deflecting. Okay. You're dealing with the wrong problem here. Like yourself. Learn to like yourself. Learn things about yourself. Okay, there's so many things that I did not know about myself. And it's it's exciting. It's an exciting journey right now as I figure things out about myself. Oh, actually, I like this. I like this color. I still don't know what my favorite color is. Crazy. It used to be black, but then it was during my dark and depressive phase. But then now I don't know what color I actually like. Pink looks good on me, though. Yay. But like, <laughs> I actually don't, don't know what my favorite color is. But all I'm saying is learn to love yourself learn to start liking things about yourself learn to learn yourself eh? take some time to get to know yourself find things that you find interesting about yourself i know this sounds like the stupidest tiniest things if you're hoping that i was going to tell you about how you can you know fix up body dysmorphia and what the, no like yourself Learn to like yourself. That's the main issue here. You don't like yourself. And so no matter what tips, tricks, hacks, or whatever you come up with, they will not fix the problem that is you don't like yourself. No matter what body you come in, you don't like yourself. You can be as skinny as hell. Still not like yourself, excuse my language, and still not like yourself. So learn to like yourself. Figure yourself out. Go on solo dates. Literally spend time alone, get to know yourself. If you're the type that spends a lot of time alone, spend time with people. Because I know you guys are out there, okay? I spend a lot of time uh, with people, so I had to spend time alone. I had to go on solo dates. I had to learn how to be alone and stop covering up with having people around me. For you, that might mean learn how to socialize. Because mm? maybe you're opposite from me. You guys love, somehow I attract people who are quite different from me and people who are the same um, as me. It's a weird balance. But Whatever your way is, get to know yourself. Whether this is getting to know yourself through other people or getting to know yourself with yourself alone. Learn to love yourself. Learn to appreciate yourself. If you want to finally be happy with your body, 
learn to love yourself i'm telling you now because that's what's been working for me i've been learning a lot about myself i've been learning how to love myself and that's what's worked for me i don't have a problem with my body anymore i don't have the issues that i had before anymore and that's what's worked for me now let's simplify everything that i have said i want you to do some homework it's very simple homework okay we're not even we're not complicating it tell me one thing you genuinely love about yourself it must not be that hard to find at least one thing don't tell me about your physical appearance i'm saying one thing you love about yourself whether something that you do something that is within your personality okay find something that you love about yourself i'll start <laughs> i love that i'm very talkative okay genuinely love that um he used to hate it but now i love it very much okay it makes me but it makes it very easy for me to speak to people to make friends which i love doing so that's what i love about myself now do the homework okay uh, leave a comment don't forget to like and subscribe come on hype me a little bit but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it is the first of many not first okay it is one of many other self-development content that i'm hoping is going to help you become that person or become the best version of yourself as you're moving forward in whatever journey you are currently on but yeah i have another video about you know becoming the best version of yourself make sure you go and watch it go check it out